Welcome back to the second and final part of our tutorial where we are creating a simple little game where we've got four turtles racing along the screen. In the previous video we got this far, uh, so we had the green background, a bit of dirt down the bottom, got our finish line drawn in, and a couple of titles, one on the game and then one on the window. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is whack in a couple of turtles in this game and get them running along the screen. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a comment and write in turtle one. So we're going to draw the first turtle on the screen. Okay, so we're going to write in turtle one equals, I'm going to write turtle with a capital T bracket bracket. That just basically makes a new turtle for us to use on the screen. Next thing we're going to do is write in turtle one dot speed and set it to zero. So when we draw our turtle on the screen, it's just going to appear straight away. Okay, there's no animation involved with it. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to color it in. So turtle.color will be black. You can choose any color, but I just chose black. Oops, I forgot to put a one in that turtle there. I'm actually doing turtle one for these ones. So turtle one. Next one is going to be dot shape. And we're just going to write turtle for our shape. Um, what do we got next? We're going to do turtle one dot pen up because we are about to move our turtle around the screen and we don't want to have the turtle um, having a line follow it where it goes just yet. So while the pen is up, we're going to move it. So turtle one dot go to minus 250 for the x axis and then 100 for the y axis. And then the final thing we're going to do is turtle one dot pen down. Okay, so now that the pen's down, wherever the turtle goes, a line is going to follow it. Okay, now for the other three turtles, it's similar code to this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cheat a bit here. I'm going to highlight that turtle one code and copy it. And then we're going to paste it below. and Change the comment to turtle two. And all the turtle ones at the start here need to be changed to turtle twos. Okay, it's a lot quicker doing this than rewriting it all. Now the color that you want is going to be cyan and the coordinates here it's minus 250 still but we're going to change the y value to 50. All right that looks good let's do turtle 3 now. Okay so I'm just going to paste in that code again and change it from turtle 1 to turtle 3 this time. The color is going to be magenta which is like pink and the go to coordinates will still be minus 250 again, but this time it's going to be zero for the y axis. And our last turtle is turtle four. Okay, so we'll change all those ones again to fours. Color this time is going to be yellow, and we're going to have minus 50 for our y axis down here. All right, so there are our four turtles getting added to the screen. Let's just save that for a minute and see if that's working. I'll press F5. There they are. So our four turtles are now in their position ready to start the race. Okay, so that the race doesn't start immediately once they're drawn, I'm going to put in time.sleep. And I'm just going to sleep the code for one second. So once the turtles are drawn, it waits one second and then the race is going to begin. Okay, so I might just put a comment to that. I'll just say, pause the game for one second before starting the race. And now we're just putting the code to make the race begin. So let's put in a comment and I'll say, move the, just put this in capitals like the rest of the comments, move the turtles. Okay, we're going to use a loop for this. So I'm going to write in four and we'll just write i in range and we'll put the range as 145 and then put a colon now that we're inside the loop we're just going to write turtle one dot forward and we're going to use a random integer somewhere between one and five and we're going to move it between one and five pixels at a time now that code can be copied and pasted another three times one, two, three, and just change the numbers after the turtle there. So turtle two, turtle three, turtle four. Okay, and the very last line we're going to put in is 
turtle dot exit on click bracket bracket. Okay, so if we click the screen, we should be able to exit the screen. I mean, exit the game. So I'm going to save that by pressing Control S. I'll press F5 to run it. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so our turtles appear, they start moving. This is the loop here working. And when they hit somewhere near the finish line, it should stop. Okay, you see that our little yellow guy is the winner. That's all I'm going to show you in this tutorial. If you wanted to, you could expand on this game. You could um, display which turtle won the race. You could add extra stuff to the background. You could even take bets and see if the user um, correctly guesses who the winner is going to be. Okay, so there's a lot you can do to add to this game. So if you've got time up your sleeve, feel free to try and tweak it a little bit. Okay, so I will save up there and I will see you in the next video.